if you're a parent you want to stick around for this video because I'm sharing eight of my favorite IKEA hacks for kids. Okay, my first hack is to get yourself this wooden tablet stand. I love this thing because I think it's super versatile for all sorts of things. But for kids, this thing is so good to one, display books. If you're putting out like a couple seasonal books in their playroom or you wanna put out some books on their play table or whatever, but you can also use it to store puzzles. So if you have the, um, I can't think of the word, not like board puzzles, the uh, like the thicken, like the block, the block puzzles. You know what I'm talking about. The puzzles that like two and three year olds play with. This is a great way to put them out and display in the playroom. If you use play cubbies, you use a low shelf or whatever. This is a great way to store them and to put them on display so that your kid can see them. I personally actually bought this to use in my kitchen and it ended up migrating into the playroom because I use it for my kids way more. Hack number two is the Calyx system. You can see it behind me. When I was thinking about what I wanted to do in this play corner after after we did our renovation, the Calyx system was definitely the go-to. Now the basic thing you need to know about the Calyx system, it's basically just block cubbies and you can get it in all different shapes and sizes. So like the smallest one they have is two blocks. There's a four block square one. There's a four block that's like one long piece, which is what's behind me here. And then there's as many as like eight blocks. I think there's like a 10 block. I, I don't know, all the different sizes. And you can piece it together however you want to. So if you go onto Pinterest, you can find so many different variations that people have used this block system to create playrooms. And the reason it's so great for playrooms is because one, the cubbies are great for storing um, toys. You know me, I love to do toy rotation. I'll put my toy rotation video down below if you're interested in it. Two, if you get the low cubby, which is this one here, you can create a bench and you can actually buy cushions specifically for the Calyx benches. So it's just like really easy. You don't have to be like a, a DIYer to do this. You can literally buy a cushion for the Calyx piece and create it into a bench. But then again, you can like arrange them all sorts of different ways. The way that I did it in ours is I used one of the four cubbies like the long way as a bench and then I have it coming out of one of the taller um, cubby systems that has nine cubbies. All right, next up, you are gonna wanna pick up one of these art smocks when you are at Ikea, and it is not for art, although it's great for art, but what this thing is really great for is feeding your messy child messy foods, like particularly that like age between like nine months and two where the food just gets everywhere. These things are so great. They cover the whole arms. They're really quick, Velcro in the back, and the full front is covered, okay? So you don't have to worry about ruining your child's entire outfit because you decided to give them some applesauce before you head out the door. The best way to use these art smocks. All right, next up, Ikea sells the paper rolls that you can use for like easels. I love having these things around. You literally just roll them out and let your kids go to town. And I'm gonna show you a really easy hack to create your own wall paper dispenser. I wanna share a really easy way you can DIY them. All you're going to need is some cotton rope and you're gonna use this to create basically like sort of a way to hang your roll of paper. So I just decided essentially the height that I want it to be hanging and then I used a square knot, used some of my old Salem Salem knowledge for once in my life, I guess. And then I just pulled the knot and sort of like put it through the hole so that you can't see where the knot is. And then you basically are just gonna hang this up on a hook. Now I'm using a command hook because the playroom, we just are getting it situated since we did the renovation. So I'm not sure yet where I want this to be, but I definitely suggest that you do like a secure hook because the kids are gonna be holding on it and stuff. You don't wanna worry about a command hook coming down, but it will work for a short period of time Well, I test it out for a week or two and decide if it's the right spot that I wanna keep it. And then I highly suggest you use something at the bottom to keep it into place. You could use a large, a wooden dowel, a large piece of just like um, wood where you secure it on either side and then you can feed the paper through it. You're gonna want something that's gonna hold the bottom because otherwise the paper is gonna curl, the kids are gonna complain, it's gonna be a whole mess. All right, next up, you're gonna wanna grab these frames from Ikea. Now, Ikea has all sorts of frames. 
all different sizes, but this specific size has a mat. These have like mats pre-cut into them. And the mat inside of this one is almost the exact size of like an average piece of paper. And it is the coolest way to just frame some of your kid's art and instantly make it feel sort of high end. It's a really great way to display your kid's art. I have my kids art, I have some pieces hanging like in our living space, but I also like hanging them in their bedrooms as well. My son has this like one big piece he did that we framed in his bedroom. And like almost every morning he's like, I did that. You know, he loves seeing his art and by framing it, it makes it feel really special. You're sort of like giving them this like pat on the back that it's a special piece that they did. I and mean, it's a great way to display some of the extra pieces that you have laying around instead of just like having them filed away or whatever it is that you do with them. And you can easily swap them out. So every year or six months or three months or whatever, you can put in different pieces. You can have just like two spots in your house where you keep them. All right, next hack is not so much necessarily a hack, but maybe more of a tip. And that is to not forget that Ikea actually has a lot of really great go-to like simple toys. They have a lot of great sort of like wooden Montessori inspired type toys that sort of have that that vibe to them if you will and they're really really good prices I've gotten a good handful of just some like basic toys that are really really great I love their wooden cars we recently at my last trip I added this little like wooden parking garage my kids are obsessed with this like anything with a little ramp I love that it's not like huge it doesn't take up a bunch of space don't overlook some of the toys that they have because you can find some really great finds one of my favorite sort of toy type products from Ikea is this little travel art case. So this is it here. It's got a little carrying handle. It's got a clip so you can clip a piece of paper into it and then it just zips right open like this. So you can store all of your paper in there, your crayons in there, pad it on this side so it can sit right on their lap. Um, this little hook, you hook the paper in, it's like not going to come out. I think this is a great find from Ikea. Last but not least, Ikea has the cutest aprons for children. I have two of them. I have a Christmas one and then I have just like an everyday one. My son loves to help me cook and he always of course wants to wear an apron like I'm wearing an apron and I don't hate that he's wearing an apron because now flour's not covered all over him. We don't have to change every time we cook. And I think that Ikea sells the cutest ones. You wouldn't really think of like Ikea as a place for kids aprons but I love the aprons from Ikea. Next time you see them, don't overlook them. All right, my friends, that does it. That is some of my favorite mom hacks, parent hacks, kid hacks, whatever you want to call them from Ikea. Some little tricks you need to know, some little products you need to know about from Ikea that is going to just, you know, make parenthood better, easier. What did this make it? Easier. Just things, just things you needed to know. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Remember to be kind to yourself and others, and I will see you all in my next video.